You might remember this quilt um, from, it's a the Trip Around the World quilt that I made just a few months ago. Um, this quilt is a square quilt. It started out 44 and a half by 44 and a half. So it was a square quilt. Well, I'm gonna gift this quilt to my husband. Um, so he's six foot two, something like that. Um, so he's tall. And so I want to make this quilt a lot longer. I probably will make it a little bit wider, but mostly longer. So what I want to do is to make this longer is I'm gonna add a few borders I'm probably going to add about a six inch border, probably maybe even three of them to this to make it a lot longer. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do that. Hi, I'm Angie with Cutting Edge Quilter. So let's finish up this quilt that I've been working on for a long time. I do want to make extra borders. I'm going to show you how to make a quilt if you just have a small quilt, um, how to make it longer or bigger depending on on what you need um, and who the recipient is. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. First thing I did was I added this brown border uh, around the the whole entire quilt. So I just went ahead and and did that and I really didn't have a plan for this but I did have some extra little patches left so what I did I, I just uh added that to but not enough for the whole all the way across so i thought for a good um, like a pop i would add some white to it so that is the border for the top and then there's another border for the bottom but i still wanted to make it longer so what i'm going to do is this is my thinking go ahead and add a black strip here at the top and the bottom and I don't really want to add it here because that would be like another border and then another little border so because I'm going to have a six inch border on the sides so I'm going to go ahead and cut the the black strip for the top and the bottom and then sew those onto it and see what I think now I'm just going to cut a two inch border for this because I just want something to break up the um, one border with another border so I'm just gonna first of all I'm going to before I do anything I'm going to um, make sure my edges are nice and straight then I usually cut just count two from on my cutting mat. I might have to get a new blade for this. It's getting a little bit dull, I think. And I'm gonna cut another one for the bottom. So the black is on. I think it really gives a good, um, it breaks up the border. So I'm gonna put another, probably two borders up here, six inch. I may break them up with another black. So here's what it looks like. There. This is called a Rising Star die from Aki Quilt. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this for, for some of my border. So I'm gonna choose the colors. I think I'll just go with this um, burnt orange, black, and the brown colors. Hopefully I have enough for my borders after I do my, I think I'm gonna do one right in the middle and, and then one on each corner. So we'll see how they work out. With Aki Quilt, you get the instructions here, and you also get a um, like a pattern for a, uh, a couple of different quilts. You get that with everything that you order with Aki Quilt. Put your fabric here, and I'm going to use the 
instructions that come with it. Um, go ahead and make, let's see, I need one, two, three, four, five, I need six of these. With the Acu quilt, you can put all of your fabric on here, um, but I'm kind of still thinking about what I want to put in the middle and around the edges. So I do know I want black for the middle star. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this one through, and then I'll think about what I want for the outside. Now I have six pieces uh, for my middle star. I cut all six at once. You can cut up to seven, um, seven layers. So I did all six at once. And now I'll get started with the other one. And what I'll do is I'll lay these all out on a design board and uh, with the, the direction that I want to go. Okay, so I have them all cut out and put on my design board. This is what all of them look like um, after I put on my design board. Um, what I will do now is go ahead and sew all these together. And since I've cut six pieces per, per shape, then I'm able to just do everything all at once and get my six stars um, pretty quickly. So I added two 10 inch borders the burnt orange and the white to that already uh, six inch border that I had and I used my Accu quilt to make that star um, so I added and I added a couple of black borders in between just to break it up a little bit and then I added four stars on every corner and sorry I had to put it on my floor because it's too big for me to hold it up. Um, I didn't put the star down here because I figured that that up there would be the top. It measures out to be about 66 by 102, so it'd be king size. And then I put a star, like I said, on all four corners and on the top up there. I'm going to start quilting this and making a pillow for it. But the quilt top is done. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I really love how this quilt turned out. Um, I think these are my favorite colors that I had so far on a quilt. Um, I just like the natural, like the burnt oranges and and things like that. So, um, like I showed you, this is the the border that I had is 10 inch border here, 10 inch border here, and then another six inch border here to make my quilt a king size quilt. And I added the stars from my Aki quilt here, and I'll show you a little close up of my quilting that I did. Um, I used. I believe it's called Heat Wave from Urban Elements, and I'll tag them below in the description. I did make my pillowcase, however, <laughs> that I told you I was going to make in the video. It did not turn out how I planned. Very easy to make a pillowcase, and I would have um, recorded how I did that, and if you want me to record how I do it later, then let me know. 
this was just my first time making one that was that had actual I wanted to put a patch on there the same uh, star that I had on here so I made it and this is how it turned out which is really cute I mean it has the same uh, trim here as the um, trip around the world here on the quilt but my problem is that I made it to where my the block is at the top so that uh, instead of the middle but I'm gonna still work on that but I did quilt that and I really like how this turned out he didn't say that it was I was afraid it'd be too hot as a pillowcase um, but he didn't say it's hot so I think I may try it again and if you would like to see um, the process on that just let me know in the comments below so thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell too if you want to be notified of um, any future videos that I have out. I'm hoping, which I said this last time, but I'm hoping this time, this next week, I'm going to be able to make my wall hanging for my office and I'll show you how I do that. Thanks for watching.